For nearly five decades, Voyager 1 has travelled alone through the vast, silent void beyond our solar system, a relic of humanity's ambition and a testament to our technological prowess. As an ageing spacecraft drifting farther than any man-made object in history, it has long been thought of as a cosmic sentinel, silently carrying the hopes, data and memories of Earth. Scientists expected nothing more than the steady decline of signals as its systems aged and its power faded. And yet, just when they thought Voyager 1 had entered its final chapter, something truly unprecedented occurred. The spacecraft changed its course, not as a response to a command from Earth, not as the result of mechanical failure, but seemingly of its own volition. Even more disturbingly, just days before this shift in trajectory, Voyager 1 picked up a low-frequency hum, a sound with no identifiable origin, no match in NASA's records and no scientific explanation. We must return to the beginning to understand the significance of this moment. In 1977, NASA launched two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 originally designed to take advantage of a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years. The mission was meant to perform a grand tour of the outer planets using the gravitational slingshot effect of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune to propel the probes deeper into the solar system. Voyager 1 was tasked with flying by Jupiter and Saturn capturing the first ever close-up images of their moons and rings. The images it sent back in the late 70s and early 80s redefined planetary science. But once it had completed its planetary mission, Voyager 1 kept going. It passed beyond the orbit of Pluto, beyond the heliosphere, and into interstellar space, a region never before touched by human technology. With each passing year, it sent back less data, but held on to one unshakable purpose. To continue exploring even as its systems grew colder and weaker, even as the light from our sun became a memory rather than a presence. For decades, Voyager 1 transmitted signals back to Earth, mostly weak, heavily delayed packets of data about plasma density, magnetic fields and cosmic rays, but on a quiet day, deep into its 46th year in space, its instruments registered something they had never detected before. A faint, continuous hum buried within the plasma wave frequencies. At first, scientists believed it was interference or a malfunction in the aging instruments. But when the same reading appeared repeatedly and was verified by multiple antennas in the deep space network, concerns grew. The sound resembled no known space phenomenon. It wasn't cosmic background radiation. It wasn't a solar flare. It wasn't coming from any direction they could triangulate. More hauntingly, it seemed to fluctuate in perfect mathematical intervals like a message that wasn't meant to be heard, but recorded. For weeks, engineers and astrophysicists pored over the data, cross-referencing it with every known cosmic event and still no explanation came. Then, without warning, Voyager 1 initiated a subtle but measurable change in its trajectory, a deviation no one at NASA had commanded. And just like that, the question changed from, what did we hear? To who or what hurt us? Voyager 1 is powered by an aging radioisotope thermoelectric generator and its ability to manoeuvre is limited to tiny adjustments through small thrusters which haven't been used in years. But telemetry confirmed it. The spacecraft had altered its orientation slightly, but definitively as though adjusting to better see or align with something in deep space. Engineers scrambled to determine whether it was the result of a pre-programmed fallback behaviour perhaps an outdated line of code finally triggering due to a sensor anomaly. But the logs showed no such command. More perplexing was the fact that this course change placed Voyager's camera array, which had been shut down since the 1990 pale blue dot image, 
facing a direction toward which no celestial object was known to exist. The area in question had no stars visible to the naked eye, no galaxies catalogued, no gravitational anomalies recorded. So why point there? What had Voyager seen in its instruments, and why had it reoriented so precisely? At a distance of over 15 billion miles from Earth, there is no autopilot, no corrections, no assistance. And yet, Voyager made a decision. Or so it seems. What followed in the weeks after the trajectory shift was, if possible, even more disturbing. Voyager 1's transmissions began arriving with subtle alterations, minor distortions in signal timing and frequency, that upon closer inspection revealed patterns embedded deep in the data stream. These were not transmission errors. They were intentional modulations repeating across multiple packets, forming complex sequences reminiscent of binary logic and harmonic resonance. Scientists at JPL consulted cryptographers, AI experts and linguists. Some suggested these patterns might represent a form of response or recognition, as if Voyager was not just observing something, but being observed in return. The notion that the signal could be a two-way communication, one begun by Earth nearly five decades ago with the launch of the Golden Record, has raised unsettling possibilities. Could Voyager have encountered an intelligence that doesn't emit signals in our frequency bands, but instead uses gravitational waves, magnetic distortion, or some unknown medium to communicate? And if so, has that intelligence noticed us? As more layers of data are decoded and the signal continues to evolve, Internal documents from NASA suggest a quiet shift in protocol. Project members have reportedly been instructed to cease speculation about non-natural causes in official communications and instead classify the event under data anomaly review. But off the record, some insiders admit they are deeply disturbed because what Voyager seems to be experiencing doesn't match any known astrophysical behaviour. It behaves like an interaction. It mirrors like intelligence. And it adapts like something that's aware. There's growing fear not just of what it is, but of what it means. If a machine drifting through the most isolated place in the known universe has encountered a presence, or a field or a signal that responds to its movements, then we're facing a question we've never had to ask before. Not what is out there, but rather has something been watching us this entire time. Voyager 1 was never supposed to last this long. It wasn't built to whisper across the stars for nearly half a century. And it certainly was not designed to make contact, let alone respond, to something beyond our known reality. But that's exactly what it may have done. What began as a mission to explore our outer planets has become a story of cosmic proportions. A moment where science brushes against the edges of philosophy and awe gives way to unease. This spacecraft drifting silently more than 15 billion miles from home may have found something. Or perhaps something has found it. The signal distortions, the impossible course correction, the mirrored patterns, the echo that didn't belong to us, it all points to a single breathtaking possibility. Voyager 1 may have made the first real contact not with intelligent life as we imagine it, but with something else, something vast, something structured, something watching. If this is the final chapter of Voyager's journey, then it ends not in silence, but with a question loud enough to shake the foundations of everything we know. What if we are no longer the observers, but the observed? Now it's your turn. Do you believe Voyager 1 has truly encountered something unnatural? Is this the beginning of a new era in space exploration, or the closing act of a story we were never meant to hear? Let us know what you think in the comments. And if this story left you questioning everything, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, 
and share this video with someone who still believes there's magic. Real terrifying, beautiful magic out there in the stars. Because in the end, Voyager didn't just send back data. It sent back a message. And maybe, just maybe, we're not the only ones listening anymore.